Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Me. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> ah, I kind of found a picture again of my happy cat. I love this cat, and I got a Skype message. I have to put you on. Zack. Uh, busy. I put myself in busy. Um, <clears throat> I just finished my magic seven. Well, I finished it two months ago. <laughs> just uploaded it and finished it. And I will resume Monday with my next Let's Play. The funny thing is that one is also completed already. <laughs> and on the weekend I will finish up the Let's Play after that. And I have also recorded the first horror game already. I, I, I was a busy bee the last weekend, so I kind of, I kind of felt the rush, the rush to, yes, I, I will, I shall let's play, and it will be awesome. Anyways, um, I got asked from one of my viewers about let's playing because he also wants to start let's playing. And I kind of inspired him, for whatever reason. <laughs> no, 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 I, I kind of like it when people are like, Whoa, I want to do exactly what this guy does. That's kind of one of the reasons why I also do Let's Plays. I mainly do it to entertain people. And if people are entertained and they also want to share some things, then why not? Why not? Always good. So he asked me two questions and I was like, hmm, I could type down a huge paragraph of words and send it to him and so one person has this, has this information. But I was kind of like, first of all, I hate typing a lot. <laughs> I'm more fluently with words. I, I don't know, I kind of prefer talking instead of typing. I mean, it's not that I, I'm bad at typing. <laughs> Hell, I'm a coder. I, I can type blind. Uh, I was talking with my co-workers and typing a huge text and it worked out pretty well. So that's not the problem. <clears throat> I just have it easier when I'm talking for some reason or another. I don't know why. Um, okay, I will read now the questions and give out my answers. Question number one. My first question is about commentary itself. Doing live commentary must be one of the hardest parts of making any Let's Play, as you have to concentrate on the gameplay while you give your impressions about the game. Personally, I wouldn't know what to say during a Let's Play, at least without a basic script. Other than give your opinion about the game, comment on its mechanics and game design. Talk about what is currently happening and throwing in a few jokes every now and then. I really don't know what to say. This causes me trouble if I decide to LP games that have repetitive or basic gameplay. For example, his secret game he wants to play. I don't. I didn't want to spoil it, to be honest. I, I didn't want to be like, oh, he's going to play this game now. <laughs> I will mention, I will make a shout out as soon as he uploaded a few parts. So. Um, has certain mechanics that provide a good, unique gameplay and sadly, heavy backtracking. I might do fight doing the interesting parts, but once backtracking ensues, I'm fucked up. Do you have any ideas to share about doing live commentary? Oof. It's kind of hard to say <clears throat> with live commentary. A lot of people do kind of make some sort of basic script, like you mentioned, and if you know the game, pretty well, you may as well already think like, oh yes, oh when this scene comes up I may do this joke or I may say this and doing this part I have this to say and that to say and it's usually mostly what I do when I well, know a game. Um, but if you have a lot of backtracking, I guess it depend, really depends on the amount of backtracking. I I personally, <laughs> I'm pretty honest with you, I'm pretty bad, in my opinion at least, on if the game is really repetitive too. I had it in quite a lot of Let's Plays where I was like, well, I have really no idea what to say. It's the same shit happening than <laughs> the last three hours. 
And then I kind of go into rant mode or something and talk about <laughs> something that pisses me off or whatever. Um, but if the game really has lots of backtracking, then I personally would just cut it out. I don't know, if you have like... I had this in Wizardry 5. Wizardry 5 was a lot of grinding in between recording sessions. And of course I could have showed the grinding part, which would be like me running around down, up and down a corridor for three hours, killing everything that comes in my way. And I honestly wouldn't have known what I would have done, I uh, talked during these scenes. I may have perhaps do a relog or something, but when I make a relog, I kind of want to concentrate on what I'm saying instead of, uh, you know, uh, playing a game. The thing is, there are quite a lot of different commentary styles. I had a discussion with Gilwin quite a lot, and we were kind of like, she has this thing in her Let's Plays that she talks about some stuff that happens in her private life. Uh, not really her private life, but her real life. Let's say real life, private life, maybe. <laughs> Misunderstood. Um, like, one time she was, I think it was in Resident Evil, and suddenly she was talking about some torture measures because she was reading into it for some sort of article for her study or university work. And so that's something you may add in. I personally don't do that. I, I say, first of all, there's not that much interesting happening in my life that I could talk about because I'm not allowed to talk about my work. And other than that, yeah, I personally don't really care too much for the private life or the real life of a Let's Player. Um, that's why I don't do it. Uh, well, I don't talk about mine because, well, I put in relogs. That's what I do. I guess the most in, um, important thing is that you do your own... Let's plays like you kind of want to see them. If you are like, well, I don't really care if a Let's Player cuts out backtracking. If it's really bad backtracking, like you, you are in place A and you have to go to place B and in between are two hours of just walking or something like that. And yeah, I would suggest you kind of cut it out. And you just say, okay, I'm going now to this place. If the game you play has a map, you may show, okay, I'm here now, I want to go, I will go over there now. Nothing is happening in between, see you later. That's what I would do. But I'm perfectly honest, I cut out all the selling and buying parts in Might and Magic 7 because they are A, repetitive, B, boring, and C, I just couldn't be asked to record them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> one thing you didn't mention in your uh, list was if you know the game already and you've played it in the past quite a lot, share a story. Like, if it's possible, share a story how you played it when you were a kid and oh, I was really scared when I was playing that and stuff like that. I kind of had this with Dungeon Master and I have to be older quite a lot. Uh, share some memories you connect with the game if you, well, like I said, know the game. One, another thing that which you did mention which one of my viewers um, told me when I was starting off Let's Plays, hello Talker Fox. Um, was, yeah, share what's going on in your mind about the game. Like, if you get stuck, say, oh, I'm getting stuck, and I don't know why, and I may try out this now, I may try out that now, and if this is not working, I may do this, and so on. The kind of stuff like that. Like, show and explain on the same time why you are doing certain things, like... If you are just like talking about the enemy AI and 
in the meantime you are doing some really crazy strange stuff or something then the viewer may be like what the fuck are you doing there I, I don't care about the AI why did you just put the stone into the statue's eye or something I don't know something like that that's kind of important and another thing that's really important it also depends on how well they know the game do not spoil it has nothing worse than I at least hope that I never really did it. Um, there's it's something bad, like if you say, "Oh, around this corner is an ambush of archers, and we are now running right into it." No, 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 no. So, if you know, you may prepare. You may do some ominous foreshadowing like I am going to buy these shields because we may need them later it's a lot better than I'm going to buy these shields because we are going to get ambushed later on by archers and it's what right about this corner over there yeah what what uh, putting on a mood or something no oh shit damn <laughs> it's kind of important I guess like I said you better make let's plays like you want to watch them that's why I sometimes it's also good to just say nothing that, that's something I do sometimes I if I have really nothing to say before I'm like blah, 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 doing some silly stuff I just say nothing I'm like okay I I will now go through this mine and let's just enjoy it um, other let's players that I've talked to say that a lot of people don't like this approach. They also they want the let's play to say something all the time, which is also good. But I personally don't mind as long as it's not like okay, I'm not saying anything for ten minutes. <laughs> if you if you kind of say zone out or something because you are kind of like traveling through this dungeon, through this maze or something, and yeah, that's okay, but. I don't know. It, it, like I said, it depends on the game. Um, I think the hardest part, and I, I always laugh when I see a new Let's Player starting up Minecraft, for example, is to make a blind Let's Plays, if you never heard about the game. And like I said, like you said, also said, um, doing Let's Plays of games with really repetitive gameplay. That's why I personally would never ever let's play Minecraft and I honestly don't know why people always play Minecraft. I wouldn't even watch a freaking Minecraft let's play. But one of the biggest German let's players has like 600 freaking videos of Minecraft going on. But he also, he sometimes tells jokes or something. I don't really watch him. I don't watch German let's players. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of silly. So start off with some games you know. And... If they really have repetitive gameplay, it's kind of bad. Do not cut off progress. That's the, that's the main thing. Do not cut off progress. If, you, if the game has like, okay, the next two hours will be mindless monster mashing, but you make progress doing that, like you advance in, inside the level, do not cut this out because people will freaking murder you if you do that. Because people kind of want to see the game. They want to see where you have to go, what you have to do. Even if you have to travel through a maze and it's just two hours of monster slaying. But backtracking, I personally say backtracking is okay as long as you say, okay, we are now going to this spot we already visited. We know where it is. You can see it if you remember in video, blah, blah, blah. Then it's okay. It's really okay. That's why I was always happy in Might and Ma uh, not Might and Magic, in Wizardry 5 when I could open up a new area. Like, okay, I explored this area now and this is a really good grinding spot. So I will spend the next three hours in this area I just showed you. 
and gain some levels. <laughs> That's kind of the important part. Um, yeah, like I said, um, try your best to uh, show you show some emotions. That's kind of important too with live commentary. There's nothing worse than someone who is like, "Hello, this is my let's play," and I kind of sounded. I kind of sounded like that when I started off Let's Playing. <laughs> Try to have some ups and downs in your voice and stuff like that. It's something that's at least interesting to listen to. I I don't know. It's also important to not comment on everything that's happening on the screen. Like, oh my god, oh, there's a door. I'm going to open this door now. No, really? You're going to open a door you haven't opened before? Wow. Thumbs up. <laughs> really kind of try it like oh let's check out what's behind the store I hope there's no monster or something if you don't know what's behind the door something like that that's kind of important not like I'm moving this mouse cursor now over the eyes of the cat and now I'm doing this in a circle and blah. nobody wants to listen to that really nobody no except people who I don't know are stupid I don't know. <laughs> Second question. I kind of cut this question a little bit shorter. Um, <clears throat> mostly because I kind of want to put it down to the essence. And I don't know if he was feeling comfortable if I was putting this question out like that. <clears throat> Anyways, second question, this time about viewership. I'm sure you have gathered all your subscribers slowly thanks to hearsay from other subscribers, searching on YouTube and your very presence on YouTube, which I believe it to be the most important aspect of a LP we know. Any tips you would like to share about this? I think you asked the wrong person there. <laughs> I have, what, 1,300 subscribers slowly rising. I'm doing this for three years now. I have... I don't know, 5 billion videos up. I think I have the absolutely worst video to subscriber ratio ever existed on YouTube. Um, there's not really a lot that I can tell you there. Um, a lot of... I, my main problem may be my introvert nature and what does help, I guess, is go into some sort of community thing, like, even if it's just a forum. You can find, I'm pretty sure there are billions of Let's Play forums or something like that, even in the English or American uh, English, yes, let's say English, it's the original <laughs> um, English speaking uh, communities. And yeah, be part of a community. Don't be like, oh, look, this is my first post in this forum. Look at my Let's Plays. Here, I made this game. It also helps if you do that, if you already have some sort of Let's Plays to back up. Like, oh, yes, I remember this and this and that Let's Play and something like that. Just be part of a community. That kind of helps quite a lot. Um... I can always tell you about the German Let's Play community and how freaking fucking insane these people are. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. In a German Let's Play forum, you are not allowed to tell people about your channel and you do not tell them to watch your stuff. That's kind of interesting. You go to a forum designed for Let's Players to meet up with other Let's Players, but it is frowned upon to talk about your Let's Plays and that people should watch your Let's Plays. You are not allowed to ask for a lot of subscribers. <laughs> it's just, what? <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of like... I'm a movie producer and I go to a movie forum, but I do not tell people to watch my movies because they will murder me if I do that. It's kind of crazy like that. I don't know. I mean, it all, it all depends on how you do it. I mean, of course, nobody... You don't, you don't go around... Um, on every other people's videos. Oh, that is awesome. Look at my Let's Plays. I kind of did the same game, blah, blah, blah. I personally delete comments like that. I, I don't feel like being uh, um, 
some sort of uh, advertisement site or something for other people, especially people I don't know. I mean, you go to my channel, you go to the lower white corner, and you will see quite a lot of people that I suggest. I tell you, watch these people because they are making good Let's Plays. Most of them are my friends. And yeah, the thing is, don't force it. And another problem, and this may be a bigger problem, is the Let's Player market is way too oversaturated. There are way too many Let's Players out there already. And yeah, I don't know, there. I personally, I personally, I'm not looking for more Let's Players to watch. I'm not running around, oh, I have to watch Let's Players now. It kind of declined when I started uh, doing Let's Plays myself. Though I did find quite a lot of people, even after I started Let's Play, but I wasn't really looking for them. And I, I think, yeah, Kikoskia was the first real Let's Player that I watched. I kind of, I don't know how I found him. I guess I was looking for a Dungeon Master gameplay or something like that. And it kind of started off with the Angry Video Game Nerd and then I was into reviewing and I found quite a lot of old retro gaming reviewers and then I kind of stumbled upon Kikoskia and, well, watched him. I think he was still uploading his Lands of Lore 1 Let's Play. And... Yeah, so that's how I found him. But nowadays, if you type in Lands of Lore, you find like 50 different people doing the game. And it's kind of hard to stick out. I guess hearsay is quite a lot, quite important on YouTube. And if you, <laughs> if you just click on some people who regularly watch Let's Plays or something like that, they all have their favorite Let's Players in their channel. So people see this. Gilvan uh, told me what she did. I think the first 2,500 subscribers was to post a message on their um, channel. Like, oh, thank you for subscribing. I hope you enjoy my videos. Which is kind of nice to do. Uh, but it's also, see, people see this and are like, oh, she has videos, oh, let's click her, block, 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 oh, she's doing Let's Plays, interesting, da, 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 da. something like that. But with the new YouTube layout, I'm pretty sure nobody really tweets channel comments anymore, or not, at least not from some random people they kind of find, so, oof. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, getting into community helps, this is something I personally don't do, like I said, because of my introvert nature. I don't really feel like doing that. I don't know what I what I would have to talk with these people about, like, oh yeah, we're doing Let's Plays, great, um, yeah, we have so much in common, let's marry. <laughs> that's not really how I, that's not how I roll, that's totally not how I roll. Another Let's Player suggested that you should befriend other Let's Players and make Let's Plays together with them. Which is a kind of good advice. Whoops, Daisy. That was my tea bags. Um, which is kind of good advice, of course. Because if you, especially if this, the other guy has quite a lot of subscribers, you get your name going around. And people are like, oh, hey, he's doing with my favorite Let's Players, Let's Plays, he must be a cool guy. And he's quite funny in this video, so ha ha ha, I'm going to check him out now too. The problem I have with this thing is, and it kind of sounded like you, you make friends for the sole purpose of making Let's Plays together with them. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of sounded like... It, it really sounded like this, like you, you just make friends with them to take advantage of them. I don't know. I honestly, I, I don't know if I really like that. You can talk with some Let's Players. I can only tell you from my own experience, I'm a little bit jaded in that regard. Because there are quite a lot of people who are just batshit insane. 
<laughs> I don't know. People people who talk with you and they, they seem kind of friendly and suddenly they totally turn around and internet anonymity and they are totally batshit crazy. I don't know. I'm... That's one of the main reasons why I also shut off my... Well, at least I don't give out my Skype information that easily around. It's kind of funny that a few bad apples can really ruin the whole um, bag of apples. Um, I guess you have to <clears throat> figure out yourself how you want to handle that. I personally... I kind of like to get in contact with my viewers via Facebook, via Twitter... That's something that helps. About Let's Space Together, pff, yeah, I did quite a lot with Gilwin, but that's because she's my best friend. I also met her doing Let's Plays. So, um, when all is said and done, I'm really glad that I started Let's Playing, because otherwise I wouldn't have met Gilwin. And, uh, well, would have been as much fun the last past three years. And <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, we really didn't. We just met doing Let's Plays, but it wasn't really do it because of Let's Plays that we kind of connected. Let's say it like this. Her first message to me was a uh, private message on YouTube was, "Can I ask you what you are studying?" Something like that. That's kind of how you build this whole thing up. Um, uh, also, Let's Players I met. I met Vasilka because she commented quite a lot on Kikoskia's channel back in the day when you were still able to read the channel comments. And she was making Al Quadim the Genie's Curse at the time, and I was really interested in that game. And I also decided, well, let's comment a lot because she was a new Let's Player at the time, at less than 100 subscribers, I think. And I was like, oh yeah, that's true. I upvoted every video, chatted quite a lot, and that's how we got in contact. And talked quite a bit. Um, other Let's Players, Das Helmet, I, well, Das Helmet kinda I met him through Twitter because he and Vasilka were good friends. And then he started replying to my tweets, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> well, then we kinda talked to Twitter quite a lot, and yeah, that's how we kinda met. Other Let's Players commented a lot on my channel. It's kind of important to comment a lot. That's something I also don't do for some reason. I think the main reason is that I hate watching videos daily. I hate sitting down. I, I did it once with Gilwin's, um, what was it, Minish Cap Let's Play, because she asked me to watch it. And I was like sitting every day watching the 15, 20, whatever minutes she uploaded, I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. I mean, I, I like the Let's Play. The Let's Play was good. But I personally wait until a Let's Play is finished with a Let's Play, and then I just watch it while leveling a character in World of Warcraft or doing something else, just kind of like having it running on the screen. I was really interested. I just lay down on the bed, and I'm like, yeah, that's quite interesting what he's doing there. The problem is when I'm laying on my bed, I can't really comment on the video. <laughs> that, that makes it kind of hard to do, and so I'm really bad with commenting. But if you comment quite a lot, people may recognize you, kind of like you said in the um, longer version of the question, that quite a lot of people regularly comment on my videos. And it also depends on the quality in the comments. I mean, I it really depends. Just just be nice to the people. I guess that's the easiest way. I that's kind of yeah, that's how I met Big Big Fatty Plus. He comments on quite a lot of my videos. I watched his stuff. I knew him before. At least his Let's Plays. I think I watched his Let's Plays before he started watching mine, and which is quite okay. And yeah, that's one of the reasons, well, yeah, that's how kind of how we met. <laughs> I found it before he got in a lot of my videos, but then we kind of got into, talked a bit about, uh, talked a bit. And I made a Let's Play together with him because he asked me to on, uh, what was it? Clock Tower 1 for the Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, yeah. 
can't really say that it helped quite a lot. Uh, both of us, both of us. I don't know. Mm, I can only say let's play together. So far, I can't really say that they crashed in or something. Then again, I well, I did with Gilwin. She has twice as much subscribers than me. But the problem also is, and you kind of should look for people who share this, a similar let's playing style than you. Because Gilvan and I, for example, have totally different let's play styles. Um, she is more on the, like I said, talking about her real life stuff, what she interests her, what she did the past few weeks, like, oh, I was riding today again, it was, was a nice sunny weather and things like that. She also does a lot of pre-playing, like she to place the part she's going to record beforehand. Whoop! That's my cell phone and it's running out of juice. Um, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just saying that we have different. The different doesn't mean bad. Uh, a, a pea, uh, a pea tastes different than a, than a, I don't know, something else. And it's not really that one is bad, the other is good. Um, she does a lot of pre-playing. And she also doesn't swear a lot, which, if you know my Let's Plays, I kind of do. Uh, you can also, it's kind of kind of like comparing me to, if you want to, RPG me. I, he hasn't uploaded anything for three years or something. But I once had someone complain to my videos that I was swearing way too much, especially since I'm playing sophisticated role-playing games. And you are only allowed to play role-playing games if you drink tea while doing it with moving your pinky finger out while doing it and be like, oh, this is delicious tea. Let us grind a little bit more now, shall we, my chaps? <laughs> no. Um, and it's kind of funny, funny. I found him on RPG's channel and saying like, oh, it is so nice to see someone role, uh, playing these good role-playing games without swearing like a sailor. And I was like, yeah, fuck you too, asshole. <laughs> so, I don't know. I guess if I would do a Let's Play together with RPG, I wouldn't get many or any viewers or more people coming to my channel because we have... So drastic different Let's Play styles. People enjoyed Gilvin's and mine Let's Plays, but when we did a Let's Play together and she mentioned it or something, I got like, let it be five people or something at that day. So it wasn't really like, okay, um, no, I, I, I've got the power. It really helped me out. I don't know. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Not that I, I didn't do that. I didn't do Let's Face Together with Gilvin because I wanted more from her subscribers coming over to me. No, 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 no. I do Let's Face with Gilvin because I we are friends. We are close friends, good friends, best friends. And that's why we do Let's Face Together. Like I said, don't get me wrong in that regard. I hate it to um, kind of take, uh, take advantage of people. So, okay, fine. We talked about that. That's why, like I said, I kind of find it silly to mention it like the other Let's Players did. Like, oh yes, you have to do Let's Play together with big other Let's Players and blah, 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 blah. Like I said, the, the main problem is that there are way too many Let's Players already on the market. And to be quite honest, I'm. it may be because I'm not really looking for more Let's Players nowadays. But I also don't see some new people rising, like, quite a lot. Like, oh, like being this, oh, this is so awesome. And let me check something quick. i show you my... Uh, this was just my Chrome starting page. It shows YouTube, 9gag, Twitter, Facebook, the Demon Hunter game guide from Diablo 3. What the fuck? Uh, Home of Silent Happiness, World of Warcraft, and another YouTube video. Let's check out... Yeah, here. Gikoskia. I... He kind of wised quite a lot. And 
I'm not bashing the guy. I like this guy. He's a good Let's Player. I, this is not about... Oh, I'm no bad Balsiti Goskia. <laughs> this is just an example. Just an example. Since I know him, he, he kind of gained a lot of new viewers. And now he's still... He's kind of stuck at about 20,000 subscribers. Um, 20, 25,000 subscribers. He got quite a lot with Doom 3, but I perhaps think that people are like, okay, he's quite good at Doom 3. Wait, why, why does he do these, these role-playing games quite a lot? So I don't know. This is just an example. Um, there aren't that many rising or going upwards or I don't know how you say this, entrepreneurs? I don't know. Um, Let's players rising from nothing and suddenly they have 200,000 subscribers. You don't have that really. You have a lot of people like me or <laughs> most of the people I suggest who are around the 1,000 up to 5,000 mark, even a lot of people below the 1,000 mark. Then you kind of have nothing. Then you have a lot of people even people that I watch a lot. Wait, let me check it out. Um, <laughs> over the gun. People that I watch. He has 14,000 subscribers. He has 14,000 subscribers since 20 years or something. I don't know. He does quite a lot of Let's Plays. Even different kind of Let's Plays. That's also important. It depends on how many viewers, of course, you kind of want to do. And of course, you shouldn't do Let's Plays just for the viewership. Try to do some diversity in your Let's Plays. That helps quite a lot. Um, but yeah, Over the Gun, 15,000 subscribers. He's awesome, but he's been stuck at that for years or something. Why? Like I said, the Let's Play market is oversaturated. There are way too many Let's Players. You have, like I said, people up to 5,000, then there's usually nothing. Then you have people like Over the Gun Kikoskia who are around 20, 30,000. Then you have nothing. And then, whoop, around 100,000 subscribers. You have Chaka Conway, um, Toby Games. You have, what's his face? Uh, something with Zelda. I totally forgot his name. <laughs> uh, Zelda Let's Plays? No, no, no. He's a, one of the big Let's Plays, but I... Uh, I forgot. Um, <clears throat> and you have the, the big fishes. It is kind of like in free-to-play games where there are three different types of customers. You have the minnows, those people who pay nothing, or like in Let's Plays, who have really few subscribers. You have, I think, dolphins are they called, people who kind of pay 20, 30 bucks per month. And that's kind of like the people like Over the Gun or Kikoskia who are in the middle field. And then you have the whales. People in free-to-play games who spend $1,000 per month on the game. And that's are the, the big runners like Chaka Convoy, Toby Games, Kronk, if you watch German Let's Play. It's kind of funny. The funny thing is, <laughs> I talked about this with my best friend quite a lot. He is into German Let's Plays. He watch a lot of German Let's Players. And I of kind of prefer English speaking Let's Plays. I don't know why. And, and we were talking about this and I was always mentioning, oh, I kind of want as much. I would, I would be happy if I had as much subscribers at like, like I said, Gigoski over the gun, like 15,000 people. That would be really awesome and stuff like that. And he's like, you know what, these are, compared to German Let's Plays, I have the feeling in, in uh, if you do a German Let's Play, you kind of start off with 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> you upload your first video, boom, 5,000 subscribers. Because every, a lot of German Let's Players have a lot of subscribers. And again, I should keep this tab open for fuck's sake. Um... Let's see, Chaka Convoy, he got, Chaka, was he, who, he doesn't exist anymore? Ah no, I wrote him wrong. Uh, he has 460,000 subscribers, 
wound it up. Uh, and the biggest German one has 613,000 subscribers. I think he's the biggest one. German, let's play. He also, no, he has only one, he has only 150,000. But yeah, that is kind of like the big, the big players. And I think the main problem nowadays with let's playing, and it kind of, it, it's kind of not even on your, <laughs> with your uh, question anymore, but I kind of want to talk about it. Um, I think the main problem with big let's players nowadays is there's a lot of um, competition. Since YouTube allowed to monetize Let's Play videos, if you, well, you kind of could do it before, I think, but you can become a partner now, even if you do Let's Play videos. And with quite a lot of people do this like a business. I'm pretty sure the really big Let's Players, they, they talk with the publishers, they talk with the um, developers and stuff like that, and say, like, hey, I'm doing Let's Play, send me free games. And there was even a German Let's Player uh, who also mentioned that. He was like, hey, I wrote mails to them. I'm like, hey, I'm playing these games for free, free advertisements. And they are like, hey, cool, here, three games. Have fun. Let's play them. If you say something bad about them, we will find you and we will kill you. <laughs> not, no, not really, but... Yeah, so Let's Playing kind of became a business. I think there was even a few German Let's Players who could Let's Play a game or start a Let's Play of a game before it was even officially released. I may be wrong about that. My best friend told me about that, but um, perhaps I misunderstood him. But yeah, I think they could like play it two or three days before the official release and could upload video footage of it. And I'm like, what the f fuck is going on with my hobby <laughs> so that's where I kind of said okay I don't really want to do this I don't feel like doing acting like a business or something this is just a hobby and you should really do it as a hobby and be happy and that's something I also wanted to vlog quite a lot about be happy for every subscriber that you got for every let's say positive subscriber that you got um, be happy, be glad for every person who regularly comments on your videos, and I am. I'm really, really thankful for all the people who regularly watch my videos, who regularly comment on my videos, who send me PMs or something like that, and who are just there, yeah, enjoying my videos. I'm really happy, and it makes me really glad when people tell me, like, you know, Every morning when I wake up or in the afternoon before I go to bed, I watch your videos. You are kind of part of my life or something like that. That makes me, this gives you a fuzzy, warm feeling in my stomach. <laughs> and I really like it. And I'm really glad that I can, with my silly little hobby, entertain people like that. And I guess that's why I'm also so cranky when people are like, oh, your Let's Play suck, and they are so bad. And I'm like, you know what? You're quite insulting a lot of people because they enjoy my Let's Plays. And they seem to have a good taste. Not because they watch my Let's Plays, but because they seem to be decent people. And you are a little troll, so fuck off. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm... I can only tell you that my approach, the I just upload videos and put tags on them, uh, it doesn't really work out, but it depends on what you really want to do. Um, you can make, make your own Let's Plays, watch some other Let's Plays regularly. Like I said, if you uploaded part of your current Let's Play, let me know and I will give you a shout out. Uh, another thing that you can do if you prefer the Let's Plays, you don't really have to do a Let's Play together with them, but shout outs help quite a lot too. Gilman got quite a got quite a lot of subscribers because I think Mac Grammar put her name in one of his Let's Plays. That's one of the main reasons why I have my standard role playing party now of uh, CPC Gamer, Darth Helmet, Lady Gilman, and myself. I will jumble this around a bit sooner or later. 
depending on well, yeah, who I want to, uh, da -da 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 -da. who I want to promote. Mm, if I have six party games, I always put in Big Fatty Plus, and sometimes one of my viewers. And I, I will start playing Might and Magic one sooner or later, and I may do a little things a little bit different because I. I kinda need a certain party for that. <laughs> but uh, I will talk about this when I play this game. Um, other than that, yeah. I can't really help you that much with the subscriber. How, how to get more subscribers. There are also a lot of, I think, Game Anyone, if that one exists, still exists, helps quite a lot. You can upload your videos there and you have kinda, you have a there is a community already there and they can watch the videos. The main reason why I personally don't do that is I get a lot of shit thrown at me as it is and I don't really feel like opening up myself to such a wide audience. Especially people who already have the favor with Let's Players and then are just, oh, you are not like, I don't know, Newfie Bunga, I hate you for that. Uh, how dare you play the same game than he does. Um, I'm like, yeah, it's, I, I didn't know he has the only whites to that. <laughs> so I don't know. In, in, on one term, I kind of want to have... I, I would be happy if I had like 50,000 subscribers. But they must be 50,000 really awesome people. And I don't know, not uh, trolling random idiots. And yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's kind of hard. For me at least. You really need a sick skin if you make Let's Plays. I can tell you that. <laughs> That's another advice I can give you, even though you didn't ask. Um, the most important thing with commentary, with meeting people and stuff like that, you have to enjoy it. Do Let's Plays like you enjoy to watch them, and then just let it happen. Let the magic happen. <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah, okay, that's kind of what I talked for 50 minutes. I would have written a book by that time <laughs> if I had to write it down. So I kind of prefer making my vlogs and not typing a lot. I, I guess that's kind of why I stopped the whole coding and gaming blog thing that I made like two years ago, one year ago. I was like, I'm typing so much and I can contain so much more information. I mean, if I had sit down and written now for 50 minutes, I wouldn't have gone, I wouldn't have contained as much information as just sitting down and talking. Sitting down and talking, you can convey a lot more information that way. At least I can. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon, so take care and goodbye.